Sí. The millions of moviegoers back in the 1930s, up through the 1950s, perhaps even now. Errol Flynn was a screen symbol, the man of courage, the man of adventure. He did everything from uh, epic movies in costume like Robin Hood and uh, to, to war movies like The Dawn Patrol and Objective Burma and many more. Although in private, he hobnobbed with uh, royalty and society, his personal reputation was not, not the same. It was less than heroic. He died in 1959 at the age of 50 of a coronary thrombosis and liver degeneration, among other things. Uh, some would uh, say he died just of too much hard living. Uh, now, a Hollywood biographer, Charles Hyam, has written Errol Flynn, The Untold Story. The book has caused a lot of controversy in recent weeks because Mr. Hyam claims, after looking at thousands of pages of, of government documentation, that Errol Flynn was a Nazi spy. And Mr. Hyam's with us this morning. Good morning, Mr. Hyam. Good morning, David. First of all, uh, to, to start on a hard note and a critical note, uh, the, the reviews of your book are mixed. People seem to like the book and they enjoy the book. But from a... A, uh, a reporting point of view. They say that some of your reporting is shoddy and that the research, your background, your research doesn't really prove that Mr. Flynn was a spy. How do you respond to that? Well, kind of some criticism? reviews have said that. Others, like, for instance, the Washington Post, which did a seven week survey of the entire subject, confirmed my findings on Errol Flynn. They did? Yes. And Variety, the Bible of show business, has written the most favorable and one of the longest mm -hmm. reviews in their history confirming this through their own checking. Rona Barrett on this very program I think we know who she broke is. the news. Yes, yeah, she uh, did break the news. I and remember. breaking it, she called the State Department, which instantly confirmed my findings on Flynn right at the outset of the whole All right, story. The FBI never totally, you've got a lot, so much documentation from the FBI, the FBI never really concluded finally, though, that he was a spy. They said it was possible, correct? Actually, they did confirm it. Uh, they had countless documents, which I have declassified, mm -hmm. revealing that, in fact, he was a Nazi agent. One of the shocking things about the question of Errol Flynn, I think, is how the whole thing was covered up during the war. Why, in fact, Hoover was at some very high level deactivated from following through on Errol Flynn. Do you believe that was as a result of his friendship, Mr. Flynn's friendship with the Roosevelt's? Do you think I don't Mr. Think Roosevelt there's any question of it? I think that Franklin Roosevelt just didn't want to hear about it. The same happened with Sumner Wells of the Department of State and his alleged homosexuality in World War II. Mm -hmm. There were certain people that were close to the Roosevelt's that Roosevelt just didn't want to hear were problem people. Mm -hmm. And El certainly Eleanor Roosevelt was hugely protective and helpful to Errol Flynn. She even unwittingly protected his associate in the Nazi party, Dr. Herman Urban, from being deported from this country for treason. All right, Dr. Urban, still alive. Very uh, much so. He was proved as a Nazi spy, an admitted okay. Nazi spy. He denies, or denied, that Flynn was a Nazi spy. Why didn't you interview Mr. Urban, since he, he is available? Or well, he first of all, I did interview Dr. Urban extensively in Vienna. Mm -hmm. He made many, many slips to me, unwittingly, of his association with Flynn. Mm -hmm. And when you say, why didn't he say Urban was a Nazi, why didn't he say Flynn was a Nazi spy, he said that he, Dr. He Urban, was not, not a Nazi spy, so he lied about himself. That's how much one can rely on Dr. Urban's words. Right. Um, I think it to... takes one Nazi to protect another, in other words. Yeah. You have some new documentation uh, that has not been released as yet, or some new evidence from Great yes, Britain. Yes, indeed. What, uh, what do you have? What new information that uh, further corroborates your, your well, charge? Well, because story? of the famous Blunt affair in England, where the Queen's advisor on art, Buckingham Palace, was disclosed to be, by his own admittance, a communist spy, mm -hmm. the British Secrets Act can now be affected to this extent that one can ask a question in the House of Commons, in writing, and have an answer. So I placed a question before a man who prefers to be nameless at the moment, mm -hmm. who is an MP, Member of Parliament, and very high in intelligence. He instantly confirmed that Errol Flynn was the subject of three main files in British intelligence disclosing his detailed activities on behalf of the Nazi government in World War II. So, now, you haven't seen the documentation yet, is that I correct? know only that its contents are very, very damning, 
Right. I also know that there is one additional fact that I didn't know about, mm -hmm. which is that his connections with the Nazi party were to some extent through the Irish Republican Army, which worked very closely with the Nazis because of their anti-British stance in World War II. When are you going to be able to have this documentation? Or documentation? When will it be made public? Or made well, public the 30-year limit has expired on release of secret documents. I anticipate that within the next two months, these documents will be in my hands. I look forward to seeing them. Thank you very much. Nice David. meeting you. Nice meeting you. Thank you. Five minutes uh, before uh, nine right now, we'll be back after these words from General Foods' Maxwell House Coffee. Is it didn't even need a first name. Here's Durante lunching with Gardner. Cable. Garland. Pastere. Garrett. Flynn. And Garson. Jones. Heflin. Hepburn and Horn, Tracy, Sinatra, Pigeon, and Williams. The G&M GM could have stood for glamour. <laughs>